Welcome to Visual Basic Programming. In this class, we'll, we'll go over the basics of Visual Basic Programming. We'll also focus on a lot of problem solving. Um, so you'll have a lot of programming problems. And uh, just, just to note, you know, that this is a condensed course, so there will be a lot of work on your own. Um, but I will be here to assist you. You know, just because this is on, an online class doesn't mean there's not someone behind it. Uh, and I just want you to know, feel free to contact me at any point. In this video, I'll just go over the layout of our course in Blackboard so you know what to expect on a weekly basis in Blackboard. So when you first log on to our course, you'll see there's navigation down the left-hand side. I'm sure everyone's familiar with this uh, if you've used any online learning system. Uh, the first is announcements. When you first log into the course, it starts in the announcements windows, window. I, I typically don't use the announcements too much except for on a weekly basis. I'll post uh, when the week is available. You'll see week one is now available. You can click on a link and go right to the week one uh, materials. I'll also use the announcements for any emergency announcements such as uh, college is closed or uh, I won't be available for office hours or if office hours change. So things like that, or if there's an, a problem with the material uh, in one of the weekly folders, I'll post an announcement about that. Okay, second is the start here area. And th this is really where you should focus on uh, starting during week one. Uh, it includes uh, some information about how to get a hold of me. Uh, my preferred contact is email. Um, you can leave a voicemail, but I'll be much quicker to respond via email. The next thing is the syllabus. You should download the syllabus and, and read it in depth. Um, this is really a contract between you and I. Uh, you know, consider me like your employer and you have a contractual obligation to fulfill what's in the syllabus during the semester in order to get that A. Um, I just put some highlights here, but you should really read the syllabus uh, in depth. There's also a course outlining calendar. I will try to keep the calendar up to date if there are any, any changes. Uh, this is a tentative schedule, so it may change depending on progress of the, of the class. And then there's just a few things towards the bottom. If you think you have any, any type of learning disability or need, uh, need help getting through your educational career, the Access Office can help. And this Ha this list has numbers that you can call depending on what your home campus is. Another thing is uh, netiquette. I mean, this is, seems like a trivial thing, but uh, I find it very important, especially in online classes. You know, conduct yourselves professionally. Practice in this class uh, on conducting yourself how you would in, in the workplace. One thing that comes to mind is, you know, when you're writing an email, it's not a text message. It's an email. You should have a, an address the person that you're um, talking to, say hello, uh, hi, you know, um, just say the person's name, then the body of your message, and then close it, say thanks in your name. Make sure that you include, you know, enough information uh, so that I understand what the problem is or uh, what the question is, not necessarily a problem, and um, make sure that it, it comes across in a professional way. And then some technical requirements. In addition to these technical requirements in this class, you'll also need Visual Studio. There's a free version included with your book. I'm also going to try to get everyone to log on uh, to what's called MSDN Academic Alliance or MSDN AA. And uh, that will allow you to, to download the full professional version of Visual Studio. So I'm, I'm working on that. I'll, I'll get an email out as soon as I can. Even if you install the Express Edition that comes with the book or the or the link that I provided in the week one folder. Later on you can uninstall that and still install the professional version. Okay next is the lessons area. The lessons area uh, contains a folder for each week of the semester. You can see this is week one so there's only one week uh, one folder available. Something uh, that I hope is convenient is on the week one title it shows dates. These are the dates for the week. So this is 529 in this case is the first day of the week when this material will become available. 64 is the end date uh, for the for the week and that is when all of your assignments are due. Uh, something important to note is that 
Um, <clears throat> each week you will have a discussion, a lab, and a quiz. Discussion For discussion you need to post an initial thread and that is due the Thursday of the week by 11.55 p.m. Now after that you have to respond to two of your classmates and that those responses are due the following Monday, in this case 6-4 by 11.55 p.m. Everything else, the labs and the quizzes are due by that Monday, June 4th, uh, or the, the following Monday, the last Monday of the week. Now if I click on week one, we're going to see three things here. First, you're going to see instructions. There's a, there's a little more instructions this week since it's week one. Typically, you'll just see a bulleted list of the items that you need to complete for the week. Next is the materials folder. If you click in the materials folder, this is going to include any supplemental material. Sometimes I'll say, you know, reading assignment, um, I'll give you some online material to read. Every once in a while there might be a video uh, demonstrating how to do something that's a little more complicated. Um, it will provide the, the presentation from the, from the book, uh, any sample programs for chapter one, so as you're reading through you can take a look at the programs uh, that are included in the chapter. Uh, and then any additional information you might need to complete your assignments. Okay, in addition to the materials folder, there's also the assignments folder. This is where you'll find all the work that you need to do for this semester. So it'll include first the discussion board where you need to post uh, based on whatever the topic is for the week, and I'll show you that in a second. <clears throat> Next is a quiz, and if you click on that, it's going to present you with uh, multiple choice or fill in the blank or essay questions. You need to complete it. Now make sure that when you complete it, you don't click uh, save instead cl always click submit. If you click save uh, you'll notice in the grade book that uh, it does not show a grade or it doesn't show the exclamation mark. Uh, instead it'll show what looks like a piece of paper with a pencil laying across it. Um, and in that case you actually need to contact me so I can reset your quiz. That, that will um, that will mess up uh, your grade showing up in the, in the grade book actually. And then the third thing is uh, the lab, and you'll see that typically I just include the instructions uh, right on the screen. Every once in a while I'll put them into a Word document. And then any um, supporting files that you need starting, you know, a starting project, or um, in this case an example of how to, how to complete the problems would be attached here. Now to submit the lab, you actually need to click on the lab. It's actually a Dropbox. And then you're going to scroll down where it says browse my computer, you're going to click browse my computer and then you're going to browse to the files on your computer and upload them to Blackboard and when you've done that click the submit button. That will actually send your lab, your completed lab to me so that I can grade it. When you submit the lab in the gradebook it'll show a, a, a green box with an exclamation mark. That means that you've submitted it successfully but I have not graded it yet. Um, Another uh, thing that you might see in the gradebook is a dash, that means you've not submitted anything, or a point score, which would indicate that I've graded it and that's your grade. Uh, from the gradebook, you can click on your, on your grade and actually see your completed assignment. Uh, another thing that you might see is that uh, icon with the, uh, what looks like a text document with a pencil laying across it. And anytime you see that, uh, please send me an email and let me know that your, your, um, your lab or your quiz needs to be reset. <clears throat> Let's see, anything else? Okay, and then from the assignments folder, you can click on discussion board. You can also click over here on discussion board and you'll see all of the discussion uh, for the week. So if I click on week one, I can Click new thread, create thread, and that's what you want to do prior to Thursday at 11.55 p.m. And then once you, once you, um, once pa Thursday has passed and you want to respond to two of your classmates, click on it, and there's a, click on one of your classmates' discussions, and then there's a, a link that says reply. Click on that, and you can post a reply. So hopefully we'll have a good conversation about the content using the discussion board. Uh, lastly, the uh, Tri-C resources and tools. These are uh, pre-canned uh, items that come with all college classes. So, um, you know, customer care technical support. You can contact uh, the help desk 
for any any problems with like your log on would be the most common uh, or lab machines at the college <clears throat> also student support services if you need help um, there is you know some <coughs> information on where to go here okay and then real quick I want to go back to start here and I just want to run through the syllabus really quickly so some in, some important things to note uh, again um, <clears throat> this is fully online there are no meeting times uh, but you do have to spend a significant amount of, of time on your own um, there's there's two withdrawal dates one will not show anything on your transcript that's June 12th and uh, the other one will show a W on your transcript but it will not affect your overall GPA and that's July 20th so if you feel like you're not going to be able to complete the class make sure that you withdraw by those dates um, you do need uh, starting out Visual Basic 2010 you, you can, really can't complete this course without that textbook um, let's see late work and assignments uh, you know, all, everything's due Monday by 11.55 p.m., so make sure you start early, get everything done on time. Uh, in this class, anything late will be deducted 10% per day. Uh, after a full week, uh, it will not be accepted. Because this is such a condensed course with only 10 weeks, we need to make sure everyone stays up, up with grading. So if you think you're not going to be able to complete something because of some personal issue uh, that's going on, something's going on in your life, just let me know ahead of time and we can make arrangements for it. Uh, again, the course schedule, same thing that would be shown in the Start Here folder. And, and there's a full academic calendar if you're interested in other dates uh, included in the syllabus. Uh, incompletes. Um, these are incompletes are only given if you've completed, you know, like 90% of the class. So you have to complete most of the course. And then at the end of the semester, something comes up that's uh, keeping you from completing the class. So. Most incompletes don't end well, so I would recommend trying to, um, you know, try, trying to finish out the course. Pass, no pass. Anyone, anyone taking the class for pass, no pass needs to complete all of the work in the class, uh, and you will be assessed a grade, just like all the other students, and based on that grade, uh, we'll determine whether you get a pass or no pass. Okay, so that's all. Welcome to Visual Basic. Um, I hope everyone has a very successful semester. You know, please contact me right away if you have any issues. Don't let anything um, wait around. And again, my preferred email is contact. I welcome everyone to the class, and I hope everyone has a su successful semester. Thanks.